What's up, Sheep Tits? My name is Gaming Baconator, and today I'm going to be playing Resident Evil 2. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say I've never played Resident Evil 2. My first Resident Evil game was Resident Evil 3. I'm not sure if I said that in the Resident Evil 3 playthrough, but if I didn't, then yeah. Yeah, it was my first Resident Evil game that I ever played, and I never, I never really went back and played Resident Evil 2 or, well... Yeah, I, I was about to say I haven't played Resident Evil 1 either, but that's not entirely true because I did play the DS port. But I've never actually played it on the PlayStation. And I've I've only seen a little bit of gameplay of Resident Evil 2. And most of the gameplay that I've seen has been Claire, so I figure why not play as Leon? Because, well, one, I haven't seen that much about Leon's campaign. And also, it's my boy Leon. Come on, man. Let's go ahead and get in. Normal. Two. Although I will say, Resident Evil 2 compared to Resident Evil 1 does feel like that Capcom kind of got the formula down a little bit more. And they figured out, hey, this is what we should do. Because, you know, they carried over the. They pretty much carried over the engine from Resident Evil 3, which is a more improved engine from Resident Evil 1. I'm going to shut up. International Enterprise Umbrella Incorporated for use in bioweapon stand. The Raccoon City Police Department's special stars immediately began investigation. But the Umbrella Corporation's experiments I'm sorry, could you speak up? Can't be my headphones. I got them up all the way. What have we got here? That guy's a maniac. Why'd he bite me? Can't stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, 
Did you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you. Still in one piece. I will say, I've seen that FMV. Is it is it an FMV? Is that the right word for it? Anyway, I've seen that uh, intro before, and it is, I th I, I'd say it's pretty good. I mean, it's got its hiccups, along with every, you know, along with early Resident Evil in general. But, I mean, you know, you can't deny... You can't deny my bo my main man Leon here is pretty cool, even when he's a wee babby right here. Oh God, he's not cool there. No, okay, yep, I take it back. <laughs> he's not. Never mind. <laughs> I want to go back to Resident Evil 4. Damn it. <laughs> go back to the wisecracking Leon. Oh, I need to move forward. He doesn't tell me to freeze until I move forward. What are you doing here? Hold I'm Leon S. Kennedy, bitch. Soon to be a badass. <sighs> Sorry about that. If I knew how to, I'd suplex you into oblivion. I thought you were one of them. What's going on in this town? What if Leon just knew how to suplex uh, in, you know, around Resident Evil 2 and it's like that's not something that he learned when he joined the uh, secret you know, whatever agency that he is that he works for, like the Secret Service or whatever, and so that's one thing that I'm hoping is that there's gonna be suplexing in the Resident Evil 2 remake cause that'll be pretty good you know, you just, you just suplex a zombie into submission. <laughs> just Leon, Leon S. Badass Kennedy. I can't think of a word that would, that I could say the S stands for that works for badass. Oh, Leon Sexy Kennedy, I guess. I don't know. It's not really badass, but... I guess. Well then. I'ma just leave. Yeah. I know I can get that shotgun. Woo! I bet that shotgun's real juicy right there. But. I don't know. There's not. They didn't implement the quick turn. Oh, there's zombies. You know what? Let me, oh, wait, okay, nope, that's not, that's not how, okay, that's not, damn it, I forgot how to, mm, yeah, I forgot how to do that, okay, I got 18 ammo and 30 rounds, actually, let's, let's see if I can get that shotgun, I'll probably fuck up and get killed, but, why not? All right, and this is auto aim on. I assume that the auto aim thing is on. Yes. All right, yeah, that's what it is. Yep. Yep, and 
you do it's it's a good idea to have auto aim on because I, otherwise your chance of hitting the enemies are very slim so oh god ah! Leon back the fuck up ah, okay Okay. All right. Oh shit. I'm gonna go ahead and say, uh, I was trying to record a let's play, you know, a playthrough of Resident Evil One earlier, so that's why I keep hitting that like that. But it just, I couldn't really. Oh, there's Lim Dismemberma. Oh, that's beautiful right there. He has stopped. He has stopped breathing. Give me that shotgun. Yeah, it's a fucking Mossberg. Ah, shit. Alright, yeah. It's gonna take me a little bit to get used to this. Even though I should be used to this because this is pretty much the same control scheme as Resident Evil 2 which I played the hell out of as a kid. Probably not as much as other games, but I I enjoyed it. Oh! Shit! I'm just shoot at the screen. Damn it. Oh. I thought I could... How do I... How do I shot screen? I know about that Easter egg. I think everybody who's even uh, I think everybody who's even touched a Resident Evil game, if they know about Resident Evil 2, they know about the shooting the screen uh, Easter egg. Okay, is that is that okay? That's ammo. Oh, yeah, meet you on the court. You got a basketball, I got a gun. I'd say this is probably how some, I uh, think, how some basketball games go in Compton. Uh, anyway, uh, go up here. And yep, just like Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 2, you need to press X to go up and down steps. You know, like a peasant. Unlike Resident Evil 3. Oh! Okay. You know what? Knife time. No! What the hell? Neon looks like an anime character in his pic. Knife time. Oh! Knife time is... Lifetime. Not exactly. Oh! Knife time is the opposite of lifetime. Because if you if it's knife time, then it's it's not lifetime for somebody. Oh yeah! It's die bomb! Die bomb! Ugh. And you dead. Oh I'm the knifing master, I'm fucking Leon S. Kennedy. You're not dead. And now your brother's coming over. Oh. Come on. You're not dead, damn it. I have a seizure until you die. Yeah, it would probably be better to just use the pistol. Oh. 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 Shoot you in the kneecaps. Oh. So this will be interesting. I've only got four ammo. I've only got four bullet. 
Shouldn't have to worry, because a lot of these zombies are very easy to avoid unless you run right into them. Yep, okay, get in there. Leon just scrambling. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, whoa, okay. Oh. Zom. That should be my mating call. Oh. How many times have I made that sound in a video, in a playthrough? All right. Come on. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to... I don't know why I'm shooting. I can just do that. You, I need to shoot. You're very real, unlike these uh, mannequins. Come on. Oh! Okay. Oh, God! Uh, yeah. Stomp his fucking head in. Okay. Wait, is there, is there anything on these people? There's no sign of life. There's no sign of rife. There's no sign of rife. I should play... Uh, I, w I wonder if Lifeline would make a good playthrough. Yeah, is it, has anybody ever heard of Lifeline? Okay, I can't... I can't get in that. Should have known. That's not something different from the environment. But have any of you ever heard of Lifeline? Or otherwise known as Rifrine? And the phone's ringing. Okay, I gotta pause it. I'm be back. Alright, I'm back. Just, oh, oh, oh no. Mm. I got... Mm. I probably... I paused in a bad place. Oh, wait, no. Okay, I'm only on caution. That's pretty good. Is there... Is there health down here? No, there's not. Probably don't really need health right now. There's zombies in there. Is there is there health in here? Um actually I'm just gonna go ahead and go into the police station because Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and go in here. Raccoon Police Department. Uh. Wait. Yeah, no, okay. I'll, I'll go ahead and do the Marvin thing. must be the new guy, Leon. Sorry, but it looks like your party has been canceled. What happened? About two months ago, there was this incident involving zombies in a man. Does that locker say Jojo? <laughs> and the other STARS members discovered that Umbrella was behind everything. They risked their lives to reveal the truth, but no one believed them. Not long after that, all this started to happen. Uh, uh, hang in there. Don't worry about me. Just rescue the survivors in the other rooms. Here, take this key card. You should be able to unlock the doors in the hall with this. Now go. Bye. 
Just go. Fine. But I'm coming back for you. Just hold on. And then he ends up getting... Yep, alright. And then he gets up and locks the door, and then he... Uh, I'd say probably walks back to where Jill finds him in Resident Evil 3. Because I'm pretty sure the way the the timeline goes for Resident Evil 2 and 3 is that uh, Resident Evil 2 takes place before and then Resident Evil 3 is after Resident Evil 2. So by the time Jill gets to the station, uh, Leon and Claire have already left the station. So, I may be wrong on that one, but I'm pretty sure that, like, as of right now, while I'm, while Leon is going through the police station, Jill is fighting her way through the streets of Resident, of Raccoon City. So... Can't be any wronger than Pat. I feel like, yeah, yeah, that it's electronically locked. Doesn't even look like it. I guess, I guess I could say that uh, this playthrough is also partially. Okay, yep. Yeah, I'm gonna need to use that computer. But this playthrough is also partially just kind of, I guess in anticipation for Resident Evil 2 Remake. I think... I think Remake's coming out in... sometime this year, like September or something like that. I'm not quite sure. Unlock it. That's some pretty high-tech technology for 1998. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Hold me, Jack. Take me like one of your French girls. <laughs> you got that one lone little asshole over there. <laughs> <laughs>